Okay, the goal is to remove these little ones, kind of like I started over here, and only leave this one here, which goes to the motor, and I'll probably also leave the bottom ones and maybe the top ones. So I'll leave the top, the bottom, and the middle, because basically we have to trick the computer to think that it's still operating normally. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna pop these off here. It actually popped off pretty easy. Let's see, this one's staying, so I'll leave that on there. Pop this one off. This one might be a little harder. Let me get some leverage. Actually, I'll have to take it off because we're gonna we're gonna leave the bottom. I gotta take this one out as well. So, all right. So we're gonna remove this one. Uh, looks like they're in there. I'm gonna have to wedge it out. There. I'm gonna get rid of this one. These might be hard because not as much. Oh, not too bad. That out. Got this out. It's getting easier. So we'll leave the bottom, the motor one, and the top. Go ahead and clip that back in. And this one goes here. Okay, so that one's back on. Now I'll just do the same for the other side. So there it is. I've popped off four from each side. Left the top one, just because that might act as you know as a limiter. Same thing with the bottom. That might you know work with the limitation. So the sensor knows, you know, the position, and then I left the middle one, which is where the motor, the one that the motor actually spins. I made sure to clip all the rails back, and we'll see how that works.